Here with UT Dallas head women's soccer coach, Knute Drugan, getting ready for the 2021 fall season. Thanks for joining us today, coach. Thanks for having me, David. A very non-traditional spring season you had, uh, but the success was there. An undefeated season, advancing to the conference championship game for the first time since your tenure started here at UT Dallas. Talk about that spring and what you've learned to make that work in the fall. Well, I think the best thing we take away from that is the experience of, of it, actually experiencing that. You know, we've, we've been, you know the answer better than I do. I know my eight years here, we've been to the semifinal game every time, but how long it's been since the championship, I'm not certain. Uh, but you know, wherever I've coached and whatever teams I've had, that's just a step that has to happen. You have to learn how to get there first. And then it changes things for how you can coach and how they can uh, use that coaching as motivation and or instruction about what takes place around that environment. Because the, the pressure picks up with each step through the playoffs. And I've tried to identify for them using this as an example that if we make it to the NCAA tournament, then that's going to change again. But we don't need to relearn that. We just we learned that here in the spring. So there's things like that about coaching that, that can help us progress. As far as the uh, X's and O's, probably doesn't affect that a whole lot. Uh, and as far as, uh, you know, the preparation, the practice preparation that leads into those, probably doesn't change that a whole lot. But where it allows me to change it is uh, the enlightenment factor is, is now increased. That they're not just hearing words that they're probably buying into. But now they know it. They've been there. They see what... And we talk about a practice all the time. Girls will bring things up like that. I don't even have to bring it up. So just having them get that to what that takes, I think that's going to be a lot. You're bringing back a majority of your talent from that spring. You know, almost the entire roster. You know, a lot of those players who saw a lot of minutes in the springtime. What are you going to expect from that upper class group, those leaders that have been here now two, three years, to make an eight-game season feel turn into a 20-game season? and push and push and push? Well, I've always said throughout my career that it sure would be nice to have a fifth year. Not knowing COVID was coming someday, but for, for 27 years I've been saying that because the teaching advances. As a freshman, you know nothing, and, and you're trying to get a feel from the older girls, whether the coaches knows what he's doing or she's doing. Uh, you know, you're trying to figure out if this is going to work on the field because it's all new to you and that sort of thing. Then the sophomores have a better understanding of that, but it isn't until your junior year you're starting to click in, those, those uh, strategic and tactical uh, teachings that, that is unique to each program. And, and so then as a senior, you, you got it, but you don't fully execute it, and it's that fifth year that's going to make a difference. So I'm hoping we'll get some benefit from that. Uh, and then that'll carry on if there's any extension. We've got three more years of this available to us and that'll carry on into the future. That also is going to build and has already been building uh, a, a wider uh, group of leaders, those that are titled leaders like captains, for example, but lo those that are emerging as leaders. That spring season puts us in a better position that way. And then finally, there's no break uh, like there normally is. And so the excitement and the motivation that that excitement generates and that enthusiasm that, that we benefit from, from because of that. There was just a short amount of time. That was April 10th, and then we're back here on, on uh, April 15th, or I mean August 15th. So it isn't like where it would have been November 7th, championship game, as it will be this year, and then it's all the way to August 15th, and it's nine, a little bit more than nine months. And so a lot of that kind of goes away. We, we went right out of spring success, right into preparing for success. And it's one thing to talk about that in November and say, hey, look at this. If we want this again, we really got to be committed here and, and, and make some sacrifices. And then hopefully that's enough enthusiasm and motivation that that <laughs> carries forward that over more than nine months. But it's a lot more likely to carry forward now and get better. Get, they then get better uh, results out of those workouts, and then we're in a better position. I've been complimenting them the whole time about how fit we are. It's the most fit we've been. And I think that memory of that success is what has provided that opportunity. And, and so then the other thing is, is there isn't that gap without being there as a team. Uh, 
playing with each other and competing with each other. So usually we're building into getting more competitive, more competitive. It just started almost where we left off. With that being said, you open up the regular season Wednesday night at Southwestern. You've got three weeks of non-conference play to get things kicked off. What are you hoping to see from your team over those first three weeks of the season leading up to the ASC schedule? Well, first thing is rise to the challenge. Southwestern is going to be a very strong opponent. Um, they are the real deal. Uh, Felix and Linda have put together a, a solid roster there that is can compete with anybody, including Trinity in their own, own conference. And uh, nothing's for sure in that conference in the top three or four or five programs. Uh, and in our conference, you know, it's grown to the point where, you know, all, all 10 of us are going to be or 11 of us, I guess, if we count ourselves, are going to be competitive. So we need to have those that build-in of that non-conference play put us in that position for when conference play starts. Southwestern is going to do that. The ASC is getting deeper and deeper every year. You're seeing a lot more teams competing for those playoff spots. What's it going to be like this year for your squad, week in and week out, having to go through that gauntlet? Well, it is going to be a gauntlet. I like that word. And, and so uh, that's very descriptive. The, the bottom of the conference is there is no bottom anymore. Any of us can beat any of us. There's nobody, there's no surprises anymore if somebody loses to somebody because it was possible. And, and, and so uh, you better be ready to play every game. And that's why, you know, we're playing some of the top teams in that uh, other conference so that we can be prepared for that. Um, within our conference, uh, you know, I think it's easy to predict that there's going to be these same four, but I, I think that's a mistake. I think people are going to surprise people, and who knows where it's going to be. It'd be interesting to see when the conference poll comes out and where other coaches saw that. Well, good luck this season, Coach. Thank you, David.